So here we've got the, the check and fill plug up here. It's a 10 millimeter hex bit. And here we have the drain plug right here. Again, 10 millimeter hex bit. So next I take a white zip tie, just dip down in there, see if you got anything. As you can see, the fluid is blue. If you find any red shit in there, someone's topped it off with the incorrect fluid and it needs to be changed immediately. Alright, so we're going to change the fluid now. We're going to remove the drain plug, just like we did the fill plug. So we're going to let this thing pee out of here until it's just a little dick trickle. I'm going to go ahead and put the drain plug back in. Just snugger it. Got the auto track to transfer case fluid. a little bit under a quart, so So we just got two quarts in there. We've got our excess running out of the fill hole. The bottom of the fill hole is the fill level. So once it starts dribbling out, I let them settle for a minute, get them to stop dripping, and then put the fill plug back in. Just tighten it up by hand and a little bit more with the old ratchet, ratchet wrench. And I got good crazy with it to kill it. Snug it up. And you're good for another 50,000 miles. So do this drain plan. Drain plan? Really? Drain plan. I caught that. <laughs> we have a drain pan, a little pump tool. We have two quarts of water track, too. We have our white zip tie, three eighths ratchet with a 10 millimeter bit. Some guys have tried to use the little Allen keys. I, I don't I don't even bother. Most of the time things are so tight because they've never been checked before. Yeah. I get ready for the big shit. GM recommends doing this every 50,000 miles. And they only suggest using the auto track tube fluid. I think Walmart carries it now. Advanced and Places like that have it too. You can't use transmission fluid or anything else. And I guess um, that one synthetic company was trying to make their own version of it, but for whatever reason they've decided not to do it. So this is the only stuff to use, the only stuff that I use. Um, I don't know what else to say. And it's blue. So 
I've seen posts where people have been quoted, you know, generally around $130 for what we just did there. Um, as high as $150, believe it or not. And if you, have, you buy stuff like the pump tool and the thing, you know, you're still not going to be in it for too much. I got this, I think, for $12. Bucks. Get these at Walmart for like $3, bucks, $15 in the tool. Maybe you'll have $20 bucks in the tool. Either way you look at it, you're still going to come out ahead rather than paying some stupid fucking dealer, you know, $130 to do what takes fucking 10 minutes, man. Fuck the dealer, man. You want to put something in there? Don't forget you have to jack up the vehicle to do this. No, I just jacked it up just for getting under there and making the video. Um, when I do them, do other people's trailblazers here, I just shimmy on underneath and you know, do my thing. But sometimes it helps to get you know, a better camera angle or whatever. That's the only reason why I jacked it up. You remember that one song? Transfer case in the sky keeps on turning. Well, that lady in Dover was giving rubbing tugs for what, 40 bucks? <laughs> Three of them, maybe. I still have enough money left over to change the transfer case flow. That's, that's something to consider. What'll happen? Oh, it'll explode. What? No, it won't really explode, but. You know him, the basketball player? Dick Trickle? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, he's a pretty cool guy. Man. What? I cut auto track two on my wood.